Hey Booktube, uh, here I am on a, actually it's a sunny day here, but uh, I've been feeling rather kind of melancholy as the month drew to an end of of, uh, of April and we jumped into May. It's, uh, I don't know, there was a bit of a change of weather here and I just was like feeling not, not greatly, not greatly with it. Uh, you know, still, I still chug along with my reading. Sometimes it's slower than others, uh, so it's not like that. Just, just general kind of my mood. But I guess it got me in a bit more of an introspective point of state of mind. So I thought I'd just chat a little bit about that, about uh, about how reading is a very lonely activity. I guess uh, it's funny. It's it's also it's a lonely activity, but it's also a very good kind of consolation for loneliness. Uh, I know myself as growing up, I'm definitely, as an introvert, uh, as kind of very bullied as a child, and uh, I think reading was a part that um, probably probably both got me through it, um, and maybe to its extreme of being just with always kind of leaning on my book and kind of keeping, keeping to my book also kept me a bit separate. Um, I came from a family where we were sort of all separate from each other. One of my kind of my happiest memories is... Uh, we'd have the reading hour uh, where we'd all kind of go to our separate corners and just sort of read for an hour. And uh, apart from going on family walks, which, of course, as a child, I, I horribly protested against. Those are uh, that reading, going for those walks are probably some of my kind of most happy, happy memories of, of, of childhood. Um, but, you know, there's always that the, the, I think I'm just getting at that kind of that there's that contradiction there of it's, it's like it's a consolation for loneliness, but it's also sort of a way of withdrawing um while at the same time in a way trying to connect with different worlds with uh the mind of the author uh the minds of the characters that the author creates uh even though they're fictional fictional beings uh they can oftentimes seem a lot more uh, real than uh the human beings that are around us that we don't have access to their their inner lives which we so often get uh in fiction books and even in uh, non-fiction books um whether it's a memoir, uh, something like uh, T. Lawrence's, uh, you know, T. Lawrence's Seven Pillars of Wisdom, or just sort of, you know, I re read um, uh, not my mother, my, not my father's son, uh, Alan Cumming, Cumming, Cummings, uh, book, you know, and it's just like these ways of, you know, one I, Lawrence is probably a little bit more successful of sort of kind of coming in contact with an inner inner being of a, of another human being. In a way, you just don't get even uh, with kind of conversation. Sometimes, even with the most intimate of relationships, that doesn't get that doesn't come across. I think of some of the books that I've loved the most. Um, I know that some people aren't as big a fan of Proust as I am, but uh, there is there is definitely very much a thing of uh, in his book in his books about the unknowability of another person and. Uh, dealing with that that frustration uh sometimes a quite monstrous to monstrous effect uh, sometimes to just kind of that melancholy that um feeling of isolation and separateness which uh we get which you know uh some ways brings me on to uh, the idea of booktube of i i wonder sometimes if uh the reason why booktube is a thing for for people who make these videos and people who watch them is that reading in itself isn't enough that we we feel this urge to go out in contact with talk, contact with other people to talk about the books but also to just give our try to share some of our inner lives our inner responses to these to these words on a page which we construct into these worlds into these vivid characters into these thoughts and emotions um and you know there's there's that definite thing of like I sometimes wonder if booktube is an expression of that reading isn't enough just in itself of just reading a book and then shutting it and putting it down isn't enough. I mean, and there could also be a thing of, I, I know is the way I think about things is I, I speak them out, I write them out and that's how I think, which probably is why I can <laughs> come off as somewhat jumbled in these videos is because this is my process of, of working things out. And, um, I'm probably better at it on the page actually than I am uh, on in video form. Of course, on the page I can edit. Where as here, as of yet, I've kept kept my uh, kept my um, kept kept my discipline to I'm I need to figure things out beforehand 
and then get them on this on the screen and that that can be that 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 that's definitely a challenge for me but uh see now i've gone off on my own thing and i need i need the editor to come in and chop this into make it into sense but just that idea of um that expressing that expressing stuff is a is a way of how i process stuff and that just reading something on the page uh i can do kind of internal thinking about it to a degree, but there's there's something about creating these these videos about uh, having interaction with other people, even online where it's through text and stuff like that. It brings out something more in the reading, uh, brings something to the reading that uh, uh, that at least as a limited reader myself, uh, I don't it, I don't have I don't there I don't have the skills to just just me in the book. It's got to be me the book. And my res and trying to express my response to somebody else. So um, yeah. So I guess I'm. I, I this is is this the failure of of reading the the limitations of reading the limitations of of that or is that uh, an expression of of how this solitary activity I've I and so many others have felt the need to make it into a into a, uh, communi a community activity, uh, a sharing activity. Uh, um, also, it's just sort of the selfishness of, of wanting to enrich enrich my, my own experience. So, yeah, that's that's where I am today. That's where I am today. I don't know if this made any any sense. I'll probably lis read it, lis listen back to it, watch it myself. I always listen back. I never rewatch back. Listen back to it myself and see if it makes sense. And if it made sense to you, if you've got any thoughts... Uh, Go ahead and share them with me in the comments, uh, or uh, you know, just take it away and cogitate and let it let it sink into your own reading and your own in your own uh, making of videos. If you make videos or however else you express your reading outside of just the act of reading, uh, where it comes in in your life. So yeah, that's that's uh, all I have for you today. Bye for now.